You like her? You guys like my new area rug for the living room? The space is coming together. It looks nice. It's super soft. Love the color. It fits perfectly in here and everybody loves it. And I got it, what, like two weeks ago or so? And it just goes better in here than the other area rug we had in here before. So just trying to give the house a, a little bit of a refresh for the new year. The other rug is over here in the dining area. It kind of sets the two spaces apart. It just makes the dining area pop a little bit more. And I think this fits a little bit better over here. Hey guys, so I'm home. And yeah, I wanted to check in. So I have been trying to get the house, you know, a little bit of a refresh for the new year. And I bought a couple of organizational bins. And I've just been getting things organized and trying to get things ready for the new year. The kids start school next Monday, so in a couple of days. And I still have not gotten any school supplies or uniforms or anything like that. But I got to get the kids ready for school. You know, it's already February. It's February 2nd. Um, the kids got a new puppy, if you saw that. My mother-in-law bought the kids a chihuahua, and she's like a month old or something like that, which I we didn't even know. We didn't even know she was doing that, so that's interesting. Um, and so I'm home now. I think I'm going to get what I need to get done for the day. The kids are at the museum with my in-laws. The My in-laws took them to the children's museum. One last little fun thing to do before they start school on Monday and um, so I'm just gonna get some random things done around the house chores are done now I got to out. dinner my husband's not feeling well so he wants soup so I'm gonna make some soup. I did go ahead and organize the kids' bedrooms for the start of the new year and for the start of school so that everything has a place and everything's organized and everything. So this is what my toddler's room looks like. Okay, so this is how his room looks now uh, with all his new toys that he got and then this is this little area right here kind of like his little toy area I set up his tool bench and I put this laundry basket in here show me show me let me see put it in put it in go ahead nice Okay, so I put this laundry basket in here, and this is going to be his dirty clothes laundry basket from now on. I just like it better. So that's his room. Not much really has changed in here. I think my daughter's room got the biggest transformation, but not where you can actually see it. So we cleaned off this whole area. I went through her desk and organized her desk and got rid of a bunch of crap that was in there and put away a lot of stuff that she had in there that she really didn't need in there and the biggest change so this was the biggest change I made to my daughter's room was her closet this closet was a disaster and she just had a bunch of crap in here it was just filled with a whole lot of stuff so I went through and I organized each shelf and I think with it being this way this setup it'll be a lot easier for her to keep her clothes organized and all her little knickknacks that she has in here. This was such like a stress point for me, this closet. And now it's perfect going into the new school year and everything. I love it. 
So with my middle son, this is the biggest change that I made to his room was his closet. He's a messy person and he really does not know how to keep his room organized. So I came up with a system that I think will work a little bit better for him. And I got him some new bins and kind of set up his clothes in a way where I think it'll be a little bit easier for him. It's a little bit easier for him to keep it organized. So this is his closet. And then over here on his little or little nightstand table, I did get him these two bins just so he can have his knickknacks more organized and all his all his little art stuff and you know just have his stuff a little bit neater so that's what I did and this is just refreshing for me because then I don't have to keep coming in here and fixing and organizing stuff especially for the school year when you know they're going to be having a lot of paperwork coming in the house this is just good to have yeah I also went ahead and cleared off my little cork board this is like command central for when the kids are in school i have my dry erase board up here and then this is where i keep a lot of their important paperwork and um report cards and things like that for the year so it's now clean and it's ready for the new school year for them okay so that's what i've been up to this month pretty much getting the house organized and giving it a little bit of a refresh and just making it feel more like, you know, homey. And, you know, put a little bit of, a few decorative touches around that signify, you know, a new start to the new year and everything. So it's been really nice getting things organized and getting things together and just starting fresh. Um, so, yeah, I like it. I really, really like it. I especially love my rug. Oh my gosh. It's so... It just... It really, really makes the living room... It just really makes the living room pop. And that rug too, in the dining area, it just makes it more of like a dining space. But it was just too small for the living area and it didn't have like it doesn't have like grips underneath so it moves around a lot so it fits perfectly in that space and it goes really really nicely with the table the decor and everything so i really really like it there what are you doing you playing do you know how to play oh that scared me <laughs> do a little a quick what's in my purse instead of doing a separate video I'll just do it in this vlog so this is the Kristen Siriano that I got for Christmas love the color it's pretty spacious on the inside in this pocket I only keep like well I had some errands to run today so I kept some paperwork in there and I keep this pouch and I have a lot of like important receipts that I want to hold on to for a while so I keep that there and then inside the pocket, I actually brought my planner with me today because this planner is smaller and it's more portable so it fits really nicely in there and I can start bringing my planner with me again. So it usually lives here on my desk so that I can see what I have to get done for the day. So that's my planner. And then inside the purse, I have this Victoria's Secret pouch I got for Christmas. And I keep a lot of, um, you know, kid necessities in here. I do keep a pen for jotting down notes and stuff. But I have, like, napkins. I have alcohol wipes. I have band-aids, things like that. I still have my coach little wrist purse or little handbag thing. And this, I kept it the same I keep like a travel size nail clipper and some makeup essentials on the run a mirror and some hand lotion things like that and this little pocket it's pretty small so the only thing I have in here is this little notebook just to jot down notes any ideas I have for parties or events or uh, gifts things like that so 
that's what that is. Of course, I have my wallet. And then it has these two pouches. And I don't really keep much in the pouches. I keep some um, travel wipes in this one. And then in this one, not really anything. Just a stick of gum. So that's what I keep in my purse. Okay. <sighs> so yesterday, yesterday I actually did like a little mini exercise routine, I guess. Um, focusing mainly on my like thigh area, my stomach and my arms. So I did some weights and some squats and you know, stuff like that. I decided to incorporate two days of um, like toning exercises. Um, so yeah, my thighs. Um, and then Super Bowl Sunday is coming. It'll just be us, but I still wanna get some like Super Bowl type snacks and stuff. Um, so that we can have our own little Super Bowl party because the Patriots are playing. I got this knife block. It has the black butcher block that I'd been looking for. And it was really inexpensive. And the knives are like super sharp. Like I've been really enjoying food prep with these. It's um, the Color Splash brand and it has all these cute colors and it comes with kitchen scissors which a lot of the knife blocks that i've been looking at did not come with kitchen scissors and they were super super expensive this one didn't come with kitchen scissors and the knives are not that sharp and it was almost the same price as this one so i love 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 this color splash if you're in costa rica and you're looking for an expensive knife block get this one. We love it. All right, let me see you do the last one now. Did you do all of those? Mm -hmm. Give me five. Yes, good yeah. job. Now this letter is D. 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 For dog. dog. Yes. Yeah. And then you got to do the circle around. Okay. Good job. 